Welcome back, Truth Seeker. Tuesday, October 23rd, 2018. Tomorrow, my blog is going to turn exactly five years old. And if you've never read my blog, it's linked in the description of every video. I want to go back and show you the original post I did and tell you why I wrote this post. And then we're going to look at these Georgia Guidestones. Of course, I wrote about the Georgia Guidestones in the first post I ever did, which was this, October 24th, 2013. And I titled the post, The Next 9-11, The Carolinas and Numerology. And what I was looking at at the time were all of these recent events in history that were foreshadowing a massive blackout in the Carolinas and in the greater region. And in that greater region is the Georgia Guidestones. If you're not familiar with the Georgia Guidestones, they're massive pillars. There's 10 commandments of a new world etched in several different languages. And out of those 10 rules, the one that's the most concerning is the first. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. And if it's true what we're told, that the Earth has a population of 7 billion people, to get to 500 million, you would have to kill 13 out of every 14 living. So essentially a genocide. And... You know, I just thought it was so interesting that these monuments were in this region of the country in light of everything that was coming through the media about this blackout coming for the Carolinas. And I encourage you to go back and read this post, very first post on my blog. If you want to know the quick way to do that, come to my blog, Free to Find Truth. When it comes, this will be loaded and it'll show the current post. You'll want to come close this 2018 tab by just clicking on it and then open up the 2013 tab and then go down to the October post, the very first post I ever did. And anyway, if you read the post, there's a lot of information here. There were so many things released about this blackout in the Carolinas that was coming from books to TV shows to movies to documentaries, even things such as Special Bulletin, a film from the 80s about a nuclear blast going off in Charleston Harbor. There's just so much predictive programming for a great epidemic in the Carolinas. And at this moment in 2013, there was even a TV show on NBC about it. So I just thought that was so interesting. I said, why are so many different publications and sources foreshadowing this great tragedy in the Carolinas? And the thing that I also talk about is, even though the fiction is set in the Carolinas, Pretty much all of that in fiction, all of that fiction created about it implies that it goes beyond the Carolinas. That might be the source of it. That might be the starting spot, but it goes well beyond. So anyway, Georgia, just south of the Carolinas, home of the Georgia Guidestones. Again, these massive Ten Commandments for a New World with a very concerning first rule about maintaining the Earth's population at 500 million. And in light of that thought having to do with genocide, I want to show you what's all encoded in these guidestones and what they have to do with genocide. So we're going to start with their height, 19 feet, 8, 3 inches. Later, we're going to come back to how this number is a lot like 193, the 44th prime number. But we're just going to start with the 19 feet, 3 inches. And how if you measure that in inches, period, it's 221 inches. In 19 feet, there are 218 inches, plus three more inches is 221. 19 times 12, 218, plus three more, 221. Now, 221 is a standout number. If you write the Bavarian Illuminati, it sums to 221. The Bavarian Illuminati, a real thing, established May 1st, 1776, a leap year which made May 1st the 122nd day of the year, the reflection of 221. The Bavarian Illuminati 221, if you write out 322, like the date March 22nd that these stones were established, 322 sums to 221. And on these stones, there's a name etched, R.C. Christian, which is a lot like Father C.R., the founder of the Rosicrucians, Rosicrucianism, what is responsible for modern Freemasonry. But R.C. Christian, the name has this gematria of 122. 
the reflection at 221, just like the Bavarian Illuminati equals 221 and established on the 122nd day of the year in 1776, just before the American Revolution. So again, here's the uh, Ten Commandments of the Georgia Guidestones. I'm just going to read them. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Balance personal rights with social duties. Prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. So worldly agenda, after the first rule, nothing so terrible. But that first rule, I mean, how are we getting to 500 million people? So think about uh, all the fear mongering we've got over the years of a nuclear attack. That's something that happens to have Gematria 221. And I'm not saying that they're going to clear us out with a nuclear attack. I think there's all sorts of ways they're already clearing us out with uh, disease and illness engineering, vaccines, food, chemicals in the sky, water, etc. You know, who doesn't have a TV at this day and age? I know you guys all see the same commercials as me. Men are getting soft. It's an epidemic. Buy some man testosterone pill. Restore your prowess in the bedroom. You know, it's, it's like everybody has all these symptoms. We're living in a toxic world. All sorts of stuff's being done to us right now. Anyhow, this name R.C. Christian, when you break it down, R.C. is 33. Masonry is 33. Secrecy is 33. Federal is 33. Order is 33. Coming back to the Bavarian Illuminati. What does Illuminati mean? It means in the light. What is Freemasonry? The pursuit of light. The Illuminati is Masonry at the highest levels. You know, anybody can become a Mason. Just because you're a Mason doesn't mean you're in the Illuminati. This is the upper tier of the network. March 22nd, 80 was also a date with 105 numerology. Masonry also sums to 105. The difference between the value of 105 and the value of 33 is the value of 105 just using the alphabetic order. M's the 13th letter, A's the first, S is the 19th, O's the 15th, so on. Here, you're using the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. So instead of M being 13, you take the numerology of 13. M is four. One plus three is four for 13. A is one. S becomes one as well. The numerology of 19 is one plus nine is 10. Then one plus zero is one. O, the 15th letter becomes one plus five is six. So you make each letter a single digit number, then you add the word. Masonry becomes 33. There's also another cipher, Jewish Gematria. It's the most important outside of the base ciphers. If you've been here since the beginning, the three ciphers that I initially taught were the alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, and Jewish Gematria. Masonic is 223, like the date March 22nd, 22 slash 3. Keep in mind, March 22nd can be written 22 slash 3 like 223, or 3 slash 22 like 322. The number that Yale, Skull and Bones, the Masonic Order, identifies by, 322. And where does that number gain its significance? In Genesis 322, the first book of the Bible. Genesis 322, about the tree of life, having eyes to see as God does, knowing good and evil. All of the knowledge encoded in that verse and in Genesis comes from the ancient mystery religions, which is Kabbalah, Hermeticism, Kundalini, alchemy. All of that knowledge is encoded in the Bible, and you would never know it unless you studied these things. Abrahamic religions and ancient mystery religions, some to 322. The Abrahamic religions are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, which are all based in the Old Testament. So again, the Guidestones placed where they were on March 22nd, 1980. And notice the word Guidestones has Gematria 48. So does Illuminati. So does Freemason. And again, when you know their secret code, 
Again, Freemasonry is invested in this code of letters and numbers because Freemasonry is based in the ancient mystery religions, including Kabbalah. Kabbalah says that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. But by knowing this code, you can see through these numerical tributes, through these names. You know, they say that there is no R.C. Christian. It was a name to represent a group of people. Well, we know what group of people that is. You know, not hard to see. He's, this group, very repetitive in their workings, operating by the same numerical patterns again and again throughout history. So now here's the thing about it being 19 feet, three inches tall. Each of the stones at the Georgia Guidestones, 19 feet, three inches. If you just look at the numbers there, it's 193, a lot like 193, which is the 44th prime number. Notice that in our most peer of the four base ciphers, which is the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, genocide in Georgia are both 44. The word kill with the alphabetic order is 44. A genocide is mass killing. The word execution also sums to 44. But now notice genocide in Georgia in all four of our base ciphers, the alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, the reverse alphabetic order, and the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. Perfect overlap with genocide in Georgia in three of the four base ciphers. Do you think that's a coincidence? A monument that essentially promotes genocide in Georgia that's 19 feet, three inches tall. Another word that we could uh, talk about that fits in here in our most pure of the ciphers is the word prophet. Prophets 44. Isn't this a form of prophecy? What's on these guidestones? Again, we know who's working by the contrived prophecy code every single day in this world leading us astray, leading us down the path of the New World Order agenda. Keep in mind these guidestones are in Elbert County, Georgia. I couldn't help but notice that Elbert has the gematria of 37 and 62 in the same ciphers that genocide in Georgia are 37 and 62. So with regards to these stones being placed there on March 22nd and having to do with genocide, there's another thing. The Jamestown massacre of March 22nd, 1622. If you don't know this, look it up. Supposedly an entire village was wiped out and it was blamed on the local natives. And out of this slaughter came a campaign to find a new national identity and to begin to kill the natives who were seen as a threat. So the seeds of the genocide of the natives were planted in this event on March 22nd, 1622. By the way, that was a date with 47 numerology. Masonry's worked by that code since well before March 22nd, 1622. Also, if you find out what was carved on the tree left at that slaughter, Find what was carved and put in the base ciphers and then look at the most pure of the base ciphers to find another 33. But the point is the seeds of a genocide were planted on March 22nd, 1622. Genesis 322, knowing good and evil. Show you guys something real quick about Genesis 322 in that verse in the um, NIV and in the KGV. Here's the New International Version. And the Lord God said, the man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. What does that sum to, Genesis 3, 2, 2? Oh, it sums to 322. Not by coincidence. Let's check it out in the KJV, which uses a different wording. We'll see what that sentence sums to in the KGV. The KJV. Remember, this number is big boss. That's why I'm one of the most powerful Masonic orders in the nation, Yale, identifies by it. So here's the uh, KJV. And the Lord God said, behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. A little bit different wording, but uh, as you're about to see, no difference on the gematria encoding. 322 again in the same cipher. You see? So Genesis 322. By the way, that's the... 78th verse of Genesis, Genesis 3, 2, 2 is, Genesis 78. If you've read Genesis, you know it begins with, and God said, 78. 
just in case you're new here, Genesis means in the beginning, which equals 137, which is the 33rd prime number. And our most pure cipher, Genesis, is 33, which means the beginning, like how seed's 33, like how birth is 33, like how Bible's 33, like how good book's 33. Like how amen is 33. Again, you don't want to be a coincidence theorist. Always better to be a truth seeker and a logical and rational person. That's what I've always been. That's how I figured this stuff out. So anyway, about that uh, 62 connected into genocide in Georgia and Albert and um, masonry being what at, what's at the heart of the New World Order and behind many genocides, including that of the natives here in North America. Notice that uh, Mason sums to 62. Again, their knowledge is based in the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, which begins with Genesis. Mason 62, Torah 62, Elohim 62. God has plans to destroy the world and all of its people in the Torah as well, or at least most of its people. For uh, more fingers pointing to the Masons, Elbert County, Georgia, where these guidestones are, sums to 96 in our most pure cipher, like how Freemason's 96. R.C. Christian also has Gematria of 59 in the base ciphers. In Hebrew and in English, Freemasonry sums to 59. 59 is the 17th prime. Modern Freemasonry began in the year 1717. Mason equals 17. Depopulation, 59. The word kill in Jewish Gematria is 59. The word kill in reduction Gematria is also 17. 59, the 17th prime. And that name Christian alone also has Gematria 47, like the 47 degrees on the Freemason compass. Now, again, those 47 degrees are in tribute to the 47th problem of Euclid about how to establish foundation for a structure. The foundation of our nation is largely religion and believing instead of thinking. You know, who would want it that way to just believe and not think? I got a few ideas. The same people who want total mind control and enslavement of the population. Also on the uh, stones, it says a small group of Americans who seek the age of reason. The age of reason sums to 139 like Freemasonry, which is the 34th prime number. These stones are on the 34th parallel. If you've ever read Manly P. Hall, he says that's what the Order of the Quest, a Masonic alliance that founded this nation was after, the Age of Reason. And if you've ever read, read Manly P. Hall and all the things that he shares about the Order of the Quest, um, a lot of these things around here are familiar. It's supposed to be a, a land of justice, philosophy, one world government, you know, things like this, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. That's like the order of the quest right there. So. I once decoded the Georgia Guidestones back in 2014, knowing what I knew then, which wasn't half as much as I know now. So this is a lot more thorough decode. A few years back, I remember there was a lot of attention to the Georgia Guidestones because a cube showed up there. I'll show you something about, um, hold on, let me, um, I'll show you something about uh, the significance of the cube showing up there real quick. But, uh, I want to copy and paste the, um, the first rule from the Georgia Guidestones. I want to show you what stands out about that first concerning rule. I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to take this to the Gematronator. I'm going to get rid of all the ciphers except for our most pure cipher. The one that Manly P. Hall says you should use. And I'm going to change something here on Derek's. Um, Derek, uh, in his recent update of the calculator, changed a rule on here that I'm not a big fan of. But you have to come here, I'll show you what I'm doing. You got to come to the options and you got to say where it says number calculator and you got to turn it off. Um, 
So I'm going to paste what's in here, and I want you to see that it sums to 226. If I don't turn the number thing off, it's going to add the numbers, and then um, it's going to change the value. And technically, when you add up a, a sentence with numbers in it, you're not supposed to calculate the value of the numbers. And Derek used to have it that way as his default, but he made some executive decision to have it count the numbers. And I don't think he should have done that because that's not pure gematria. That said, sometimes it is interesting to count the numbers because it seems like there's coding there. But this sentence, the way it's written, has a pure gematria value of 226. And this number, when you write it out, 200. 26 it sums to 93 think about the uh, 93 world trade center bombing on february 26 2 slash 26 all throughout history there's this relationship with 226 and 93 and it took me a long time to figure it out but then one day i finally did i said oh i see what they're doing so i need to come back up here to the ciphers the cipher i want now is just the alphabetic order and also jewish gematria if you write the word planet in Jewish gematria, it sums to 226. And the planet, the, the planet that is most important to the occult is Saturn. Saturn's the keeper of time having to do with death and judgment. And I want you to think about these Georgia Guidestones. I mean, it sounds like somebody's making a judgment. How many people should be on Earth? You know? And they were clearly placed there at a very specific date and time, March 22nd. And we know that the New World Order, the Masonic Alliance, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, it's all the same thing. We know that they work with planned dates long in advance. They give us predictive programming, rituals along the way. No doubt this was something that has foreshadowed one of their great atrocities planned for us. The question becomes when. You know, when? Could it be 47 years from then? Could it be 2027? Could it be 93 years? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is in light of what's going on in this world, you know, all the lies, all the deceit, a government that uh, purposefully works to know so we can't, works to know so that we can't know what's in our food, you know, a government that demolishes towers and tells us to live in fear and then starts staging shootings at public places, including schools, and has every child growing up, you know, practicing lockdown drills and active shooter drills. I just know that these people, they're taking us somewhere evil. And they're letting us know what their evil plans are out in plain sight. And we as a people need to start to look at these things and not just shrug it aside and say, well, I'd rather not think about that today. Rather just, uh, you know, watch the latest Halloween movie or the sports game. Because this is what everyone does. You know, you show them this type of information, they're like, I don't know about all that. Could have just been, could have been some spoof, some joke. I don't think so. I mean, these uh, monuments that are here, the Georgia Guidestones, and, and realize I'm saying these things because it was years ago that I was sharing this information with people about the Georgia Guidestones. I think I first learned about these somewhere around 2009, 10, maybe a little before then. When I first learned about these and shared them with people, they were like, ah, oh, it's probably just some practical joke. And I'd say, but they're so massive, you know? Who could, who could afford that as a practical joke? These massive stone blocks that weigh tens of thousands of pounds? That looks like a major investment. That was 10 years ago when I first found out about these. I didn't know anything about Gematria. Not then. But... Learning the cone, you know, seeing what's uh, actually transcribed. Again, it brings you back to, oh, it's they again. It's they live, they. Don't ever forget the word they has the same gematria as Freemasonry and secret society. So, and by the way, with regards to them saying it's uh, Father C.R. or excuse me, R.C. Christensen etched on these things, Father C.R., here, let's come back here to our base ciphers. Father has the Gematria 58, right? Father CR2 founded the Rosicrucian movement, which means Rhodes Cross. Rhodes Cross is 58. Rosicrucian is 58. Secret Society is 58. Freemasonry is 58. 
King James was a Freemason and a Rosicrucian who has a Bible named after him who dropped dead at 58. Biblical's 58. This entire code of letters and numbers is supposed to be in tribute to the four-letter name of God, the Tetragrammaton 58. You know, they made the movie They Live, They 58. But anyhow, Father C.R., supposedly the leader of the Rosicrucians, look at his name, Gematria. Father C.R., 47, just like Christian. You know, this guy's name is R.C. Christian. Father C.R., also 137, the 33rd prime, 137. That's what Kabbalah sums to in Hebrew. The story is that Father C.R. went to the biblical lands and learned things like Kabbalah and then brought it back to his people, and they shunned him for it. They didn't want to know anything about it. He became an outcast, and he decided to start a secret society for people who wanted to learn more things about this world. And anyone who's in the truth community who listens to that story can probably relate. Being shunned for sharing knowledge and speaking truth and, and trying to open people's eyes to things. So anyway, you can read about Father C.R. and the Rosicrucians, but it's not hard to see where the name came from. Father C.R. also 43 like Masonic. So, uh, I think we covered the main points. Never checked out my blog. You should keep up with it. You know, there's a lot of posts here. How many posts are here? This has been a slower year for me because I worked a huge chunk of it. But I mean, you add that up. What is there? There's like at least 20,000 posts here. Tons of information. I've been working my behind off since uh, the day I started this. And I was just fed up with things at this point in time, you know. Been talking to people about um, the school shooting for nearly a year. Everyone calling me crazy and saying, oh, how could they fake a school shooting? And I'd say, well, I mean, did you see any evidence of it? I saw people laughing at us on the TV, see a whole bunch of things that don't add up, uh, a skinny Rambo. So anyway, at this point, I was just so fed up with everything. The years of speaking out about 9-11, the fraudulent elections. Everything else, I was just like, I'm going to go full board on this. I'm going to figure out what's going on in this world. I'm going to figure out what's up with all these number riddles and things like the Georgia guy and stones. And I've just been working ever since and all the way up to today. And uh, it's funny looking at my videos from back then. I used to look a lot younger. I've definitely aged myself. So, but uh, yeah, come back and read this post, all the things I was looking at then. You know, there was a whole lot going on at this moment in history. All sorts of predictive programming all over the place. And I still worry about the Carolinas. All of that predictive programming that was coming out in that moment in time, again, it could have foreshadowed something that's still years ahead of, you know, just waiting to be unhatched. Years ago in the Carolinas, supposedly a bomber plane with a nuke attached nearly uh, had a major disaster there too. Another story. It was some recently declassified thing maybe, oh, I don't know, 10 years ago now. So uh, I'm going to do that dangerous thing and peek at the chat real quick. I, I, it sounds like a lot of people are arguing in the chat. I don't disagree that Israel is the biggest leader in terrorism in the world today. But I mean, what is Israel? Israel is the Zionist banker nation. So even before Israel, these people were up to their tricks. I mean, Israel didn't just come to be overnight. It's part of this agenda.
Yeah, Bluntman's talking about the old national anthem with the subliminal words fading on the television screen back in the day. I know about that. All right, somehow it looks like the chat uh, resulted in a big argument. What else would you expect online? All of you guys arguing about nonsense in the chat. Did you pay attention to the presentation? Hope so. All right, Salim, I'll look for your email. Call Police Chief Dale Brophy. I got to read more about the story so I know what to call him about. He must have been the spokesperson for the shooting. The story that uh, was uh, courtesy of the police. Do I believe in extraterrestrials? Well, you know, I, I won't say it's impossible, but um, the the uh, the entire history of um, all, all the UFO information and alien information that we've gotten in the mainstream that's caused people to have these thoughts, it's all been put out by the same repetitive number 47, which is the Freemason stamp. And a lot of their game is to confuse people and distract them and divide them and have them fight over things. They know that uh, the religious types, they don't even think about aliens because that's not part of the biblical understanding. So introducing that to the culture just creates division in itself. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, many things are possible that could have took place in this world. So. There's all sorts of competing theories, things like Anunnaki and, and all of that. And I'll say any of it's possible. I, I don't know for certain what happened. I know that uh, something is definitely wrong here. What's my favorite faction of masonry? I don't know. I, I suppose the ones that call into my radio show and say they appreciate the work. I don't know. Titanic 2 sailing in 2022. I heard about it. I haven't done any work on it yet, but I mean, you can just see what's going on there, right? 22022. So. What do I believe in? You guys always ask me the same questions. Don't I always say what I believe in? You know, I believe in the golden rule. I don't believe in much, honestly. I believe in thinking. But I also believe in, you know, treating other people with respect and treating other people the way you want to be treated, doing the right thing, you know, making the right choice. I think those are simple rules that most people could live by if they wanted to. Oftentimes, though, making the right choice is the more difficult thing, so that's why people don't do it. You're welcome, Goose. Goose didn't know about the bankers, the people uh, fighting the banker tyranny that were killed on the Titanic. Thanks, Tamara. If I'm pronouncing that right, it could be Tamara. But uh, thank you either way. Appreciate you supporting the book and that you enjoy it. Yeah, the the person talking about Utah. That's what that's what that's what uh, we're talking about. We we covered it in earlier today's news story. The the girl shot dead while talking with her mom or when the tragedy struck while she was on the phone with her mom. We showed how it was connected to college football and synced up with the upcoming Pac-12 college football championship. So could be a completely made up story or it could be a ritual murder for their rig sports games, which they also do year after year. Gematria schools every Tuesday night, 6 p.m. West Coast time. So that's about an hour and 40 minutes from now. Gematria school every Tuesday night, 6 p.m. You can be there live. If you're there live, then you can participate in the discussion and ask questions. You can always watch it anytime after. So. I love when people say that their religion's the right religion. Their religion's the truth. <laughs> Think a little bit deeper about it. 
You notice that everybody who's born into their religion mostly thinks that theirs is the truth. You notice how that's how the whole world's divided up over religion. The Johnstown flood of 1889, I'd have to look it up. That's around the time of Tesla. June 24th is the date that modern Freemasonry began. Somebody's saying that the Titanic II could possibly sail June 24th. That is the start date of modern Freemasonry, June 24th. The mainstream papers would not print the warning about San Francisco. They're all in on it. The media is the one that maintains all the tyranny. How do I feel on a daily basis with my diet? Eating vegetables and some fish? I feel good. I mean, you guys have noticed I've been pretty healthy the whole five years I've been here reporting. I've, I've had a few head colds here and there, nothing too bad. Rapper John James falls to his death in an airplane stunt gone wrong. All right, you guys, let's do it. Let's do a let's do a live decode of the news, and then we'll call it uh, a wrap. I got to make some dinner and then get ready for Gematria school. Again, it's election night. We're going to be talking about rigged elections for Gematria school. Got to get this knowledge out here so people can show their friends and family how all these elections across the nation and world are scripted. But uh, what's this rapper's name? John James. Never heard of him. Rapper John James. Oh, a white rapper. So he died on a date with uh, 68 numerology. That's jumping out at me right away. Another number connected to death a lot. Caskets go six feet deep or eight feet long. Death also has gematria of 20, like time. Let's see how many days it was from his July 28th birthday to his death. A full span of days. So he died a full span of 85 days from his birthday, which is also two months and 23 days. Hey, there's that two, two, three again, always shows up. Or 84 days after. The divisors at 84, some to 44, the kill, execution number. 84, big number with masonry. If you've read my book, Letters and Numbers, a lot of Jesuit-related deaths in connection to 84. But again, the divisors of 44, some to 84, kill 44. It is a repetitive pattern in murder by numbers. He was 33 years old. He died in October, the lone 33 month. Um... Just looking at his birth numerology real quick. I guess we, uh, he was John McMurray, went by John James. Okay, let's just look at his name. McMurray, James, John, John James. Is that what it was? John James. John James, 48. The baby died 10. 2018, date with 48 numerology. The divisors are 33, sum to 48, too. Take the numbers that divide into 30. Oops, wrote his name wrong there. Take the numbers that divide into 33, they sum to 48. John James, what was it? John James McMurray? His name also has Gematria 64, like kill. Huh. Westwold, Canada. He, he was a Canadian rapper. Let's see if there's anything about this location. The location has Gematria 46 and 233, like his name. Actually, you know, I'm also noticing that his name sums to 199, the 46th prime. And then the location where he died sums to 46. That's a big sacrifice number. Genesis 46 begins with the sacrifice. So the location goes with the name. 
you know, a part of me wonders if uh, this is another entertainer who's really died or if uh, this is the way their music career ends, just to sell some records. I, I guess he's covered in people. I'd never heard of this guy before in my life. Rapping while walking on the wing of a plane. He was 33. So he was literally walking on the wing of the plane while it was flying and he didn't mean to come off. He didn't have time to pull his shoe. The song was called The Man. Hmm. 25 is another number connected to death. Dead on the 20th. Remember, death's 97 and 25. 97 is the 25th prime. Uh, October 20th beats how many days left in the year? That's the other thing I'm wondering. Oh, that's the other thing about October 20th. It's the 293rd day of the year, which is the 62nd prime number. And Sacrifice also has that Gematria 62. So I don't know. Maybe uh, what really happened is he was given a shoot that was meant not to work. I don't know. I don't know. All right, you guys, just reading over the comments here, seeing if there's anything else. I see a lot of people arguing about religion. What else is new? Yeah, that's a good point. Frumblefoot says, this reminds me of the Post Malone plane story recently. Supposedly his plane's landing gear didn't work or something like that. Yeah, a lot of secret societies back in that region of the world, Switzerland. Yeah, it's true. John James, 33, yeah? Oh, you guys see the text right there? Gotta go pick up my lady. There it is. All right, Truth Seeker, until next time. Appreciate you guys checking in. Don't forget to pick up that book if you haven't done so already.